Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank all those that took part in an enormous democratic exercise in this country, which in concluded with me being elected as leader of the Labour Party and leader of the opposition. I think we can be very proud of the numbers of people who engaged and took part in all those debates. I have taken part in many events around the country and had conversations with many people about what they thought about this place, our parliament, our democracy and our conduct within this place. And many told me that they thought Prime Minister's question time was too theatrical, that parliament was out of touch and too theatrical, and they wanted things done differently, but above all they wanted their voice heard in parliament. So I thought my first Prime Minister's question time, I do it in a slightly different way. And I'm sure the Prime Minister is going to absolutely welcome this, as he welcomed this idea in 2005. But something seems to have happened to his memory during that period. Um, and so I sent out an email to thousands of people and asked them what questions they would like to put to the Prime Minister. And I received 40,000 replies. Now, there isn't time to ask 40,000 questions today, and uh, our rules limit us to six. And so I would like to start with the first one.